Hi and welcome to the last lesson of the Ajax Foundation's course of Race Karate. As always, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as Bastian Balandia. We are also as Race Karate. We are also on Facebook. Follow me on Snapchat as Svalandia G. And subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want us to upload more videos, new courses, etc. Uh, okay, so as we... Um, uh, published in our social networks, um, we want to create a photo search app using Flickr's API. And in this case, uh, we're going to consume the Flickr's API uh, for search some photos depending on a uh, tag or a word we are going to send the, to the API. Um, here uh, in the article of the video, you will find some useful links like the Flickr's API link. Um, Usually, when we want to use an API, we will have to register. We have to register as developers and create an account, uh, create an app, and we get an, a an API key. Uh, that's like a username and password for use the service or the API service. Uh, usually, uh, sites like Flickr or Facebook or other social networks or any other platform uh, uses API keys for limit access or for church. Uh, f for to use the app, etc. Um, so uh, in this case, we don't need to register uh, because Flickr has an a public feed uh, that is uh, we had we can access the Flickr's API or a, a small section of the Flickr's API um, without creating an account or without a, any AP, AP key. Um, here we have the. Um, the public feed of Flickr, this is a long XML. Uh, we can get some photos of, from Flickr with this um, feed. Uh, let, let's take a look uh, in a JSON form. So here in the API, um, well, I suggest you to, to use a JSON uh, V extension for Chrome or Firefox or Safari. Well, it depends which browser are you using. Uh, Okay, uh, here uh, you can see a uh, JSON, very well formatted, and we have some properties like title of the feed, description, etc. And we have this array of objects called items, items I mean, and each object is a photo. And you can see a title, you can see a link, you can see a thumbnail a image, and um, some other information we can use. Um, as you know, uh, there is a police called uh, same origin police, and we can't make uh, records to other servers, to other web servers from our website. However, jQuery handles these using something called JSONP. Uh, so we we can bypass these, we can skip these valid these police using uh, the normal jQuery um, ha jQuery shorthand methods like JSON get, let get JSON. I mean. Uh, so uh, basically what it's doing or what JSONP means is that um, as we are requesting this jQuery this is in another website and another web server and this is just a JavaScript file so basically with JSONP what uh, Flickr's API do, is doing is sending us a JavaScript file um, so we are not um, technically uh, accessing to the API, they are just sending a file to us. So that's what's called uh, JSONP. So with this, uh, and thanks to jQuery because this is a very messy process, but uh, jQuery makes uh, everything for us. So this way we can skip the, the same origin policy. So let's see it in action. Uh, what I want to show you here is, um, let's reload this. Um, I want to show you this um, prototype of the app, this mockup uh, our design gave us. So here you, we have, um, oh wait, don't forget to make all the previous steps for follow, following along with us uh, here in the article of the video. Well, so here we have uh, some tabs and we also have some photos. So each time we click, for example, this button that has inside the word car, or the word motorcycle, or the word truck, we're gonna um, send a request to the Flickr's API and load photos uh, related to the title of the button. Okay, so let's do it. So first,
first of all, um, I'm going to um, to make the buttons active when we click them. So let's do that. So here we have some jQuery. Make sure that in the HTML you have jQuery enabled, and also you're adding at the end of or before of the body tag at the Flickr's uh, Flickr JS file. Create a Flickr copy file also, and we also created a Flickr.html and paste the, the the markup we have in the article of the video or we get you. Um, okay, so we have here we're going to select and get the click action in any button and here with an anonymous function well we don't need this parenthesis here with an anonymous function we're going to to get the click button and we're going to add class the class we're going to add the class active so let's see what's going on here uh, when we click it uh, wait Sorry, it's not the class active, it's the class selected. Let's try again. Okay, but we want to remove the class when we click another button. So let's remove all the, um, in all the buttons, the selected class. So button, re remove class, selected. Okay, let's try again. It should be working now. Yes, it's working. So now we are selecting the, 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 the click the button. Next, what I want to do is to to start our JSON request. So we're gonna use the get JSON shorthand function. The get JSON shorthand function, and we need three things. The first one is the the URL. So the Flickr's Flickr Flickr API the URL next uh, Flickr options and next um, render photos okay so here the first one is the URL of the API the next one is the Flickr options that we're gonna uh, see in a moment and a function a carbon function that is it, it's going to show the photos once uh, or, or get request finishes. Mm. Next, so let's start. So I'm going to create a Flickr, Flickr API variable and it's going to contain the, the URL of, of our feed, public feed. Great. And here is a tricky part and we need to add here um, a query string and um, JSON callback JSON callback question mark um, why because and um, we want to make JSON peer request so usually and this is a standard of almost every uh, every API or public API when we want to make a, um, a JSON peer request we use this JSON callback uh, query string with a question mark so this is just a standard that it's indicated to Flickr that we want to make a JSON P request. JSON with padding it means JSON P. Okay. So next, uh, let's go to the Flickr. Uh, oh wait, let's get the text within the button. So we're going to create a variable called vehicle, and here what we're going to do is to get the current clicked button and get the text within it, the text inside of it. Okay, so next thing is the Flickr options, and this is just a JavaScript object. And let's take a look to the Flickr options. So here in the article of the video, you will find some uh, the Flickr public feed option options, and here you can see some options we can set to this URL. So this is an ID of a user or IDs. We can say in tags, format of the request, etc. And we are going to send a tag and we are going to send a format. So the tags, the tag is just when people upload for the Flickr, they add tags for like the category for search. For, for when, when people search uh, for this, Flickr uses the tags for like a search um, query. 
and also this is the format and we here we specify that we want to to re, to retrieve uh, json okay i want to get json so first of all the tag uh, let's see if it's tags the tags uh, we're going to say in the vehicle variable and next the format oh sorry this it's colon colon um json great okay next thing uh, we want to do is to uh, make the render for this function okay so let me check so when when we the, in the column function we get data uh, here in the function we are going to make all necessary for show the photos uh, well we actually can add everything right directly to the function to the get json here are here the url uh, add here the options the object with with the options here uh, tags blah 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 okay we are, can add everything directly here or here the function data and uh, anonymous function but uh, what um, you will find that many developers or javascript developers they add everything directly to the functions but uh, I prefer to to make these uh, more readable uh, using variables. Okay. In this case, but maybe in the future, you well, both methods methods are right. So you can add everything directly to the function or use variables like me. Okay. So Flickr API variable. Okay. Great. So here within the function, the first thing um, we want to do is to check the markup of the designer. Uh, here we have a ul for shared photos, a l a tag with two classes and a a element, and a link with a class image and the ima image with the URL. So let's copy. I'm gonna copy this. One of these. Um, I'm going to delete everything because we don't need it. We are going to to build it with Ajax. So. Here, uh, well, I'm, let me cut, let me paste it here for check it. Uh, okay, so the first thing um, we need to do, uh, um, we're going to build some HTML. So I'm going to create a variable called photos HTML. Um, the first thing is to open a UL tag, open the list. Great. Next thing, uh, I want to loop over the the, the results. So let me check here in the JSON so here we have the items and within the items we have all every folder so we need to access this array and thanks to jQuery what we get here in the JSON uh, callback and the fun callback function is a JavaScript object formatted with the JSON uh, what we get in the API so we just need to loop over it so let's make four for further in and uh, data dot items okay so we're accessing this array so within that we're going to start building the photo so let's say for html so this is the same uh, let's, we need to interpolate the current contents for HTML, and next we need to um, start building the li tag. So this has what? Well, let's copy this. And don't forget to use special characters here in the in the. Okay, so we need to add here uh, this special tags for them for. Because if we don't, uh, our string is going to be broken. Okay, great. Next thing we want to do is to start building the anchor tag. So let's say for this HTML equals to this. Great. Next, um, we let's copy this. So here we have a, okay special characters for the quotes right right uh, oh we need to close the, the string next thing for this HTML 
uh, and we are going to copy this part, this section. And next is the image, right? This is the image, so let's copy it. And um, here's the some tricky part. Uh, it's set off. Well, here are some special characters, and it's set off. Uh, well, we need to to add here the URL of the thumbnail in the image. If we click one of these, for example, this one. You can see this is the thumbnail in the in the public feed. We have access to it, so we need to access to the object to the photo, okay? And we need to access to the media property and then to the M property that is the thumbnail of the photo. So let's access to it. So we have access to the photo object and photo. Okay, let's interpolate this photo dot media dot m and this is the, 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 the link of the image great and uh, let's close let's delete this necessary HTML and here we should have everything ready uh, oh well we still need to do well outside of the loop I'm going to uh, oh wait we need to close here the anchor tag and we need to close the li tag don't forget to do that. Okay, outside of the loop, I'm going to to close the UL tag. I'm going to close it. UL. And oh wait, 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 wait. We can't lose what we have here in this variable. Okay, great. And the last thing, um is to replace all these generated HTML in the div with ID photos. So let's get it with jQuery. Photos that HTML and photos photos that HTML. So let's let's see what we get here. Okay. So here we are making a JSON peer request to the Flickr API. Let's see it in action. Great, so if I click the car button, I should get car photos. And we we do. If I click motorcycle, motorcycles, and if I click truck button, we should get yes, and we get it. We get them. So we are um, skipping the um, same origin police thanks to jQuery and the public feed of Flickr. And um this is the end of the course so go to the article of the video you will see there a next quiz the final quiz of the course mm, take it and uh, drop us a line on twitter uh, with the hashtag x quiz if you pass it and we have also ne a next challenge for you so what is the x challenge instead of have these buttons create a form where you can enter um, any word and search for this uh, in the Flickr public feed. So that's your 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 challenge. If you accomplish it, so the person on Twitter in Twitter with the hashtag X challenge. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up and see you the next course. The next course is about Git, so we're gonna learn to use Git, uh, collaborative work, and uh, repositories versioning and everything about it. So see you in the next course. Bye bye.